and welcome to an Edo spoiler cast. I am Will. And I'm Sam. And you went with the octave that wouldn't ruin your voice. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. I did. <laughs> I started so high and I was like, I can't keep this energy. No, uh, you can't. It is Wednesday night here in Australia. And that means that Loki dropped four hours ago. Um, yeah. First episode, season one. Uh, and it's going to be it's going to be exciting. We're going to talk spoilers. Eventually, we will talk spoiler free first. Um, and uh, oh, my God, Sam. Another Marvel oh. show. We're here. An- another one. Like, yeah. the third one this year. It's insane. It's very, it's very um, wild. I will say, though, this was probably the Marvel show I was looking forward to the least. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. Only because over the years, I haven't been the biggest fan of Loki. Mm-hmm. Um, for the reason that I just got tired of him dying and coming back. <laughs> yeah. That was the only thing. And, like, I have, like, I think I've spoken to you about this before. It was just, like, if you're going to die, die. Because then it takes away from that death. And then, you know, that's basically it. But I was very open Mm -hmm. to this show changing my attitude about Loki. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it definitely did that just within this first episode. That's exciting. Um, I felt like the overall pace of it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, It definitely dove into a few things where I was like, this is very interesting. And it kept me engaged a lot. Mm-hmm. All the characters were sick. Tom Hiddleston as Loki again. Great. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, overall decent first episode. And it was probably, it's probably the first episode of a Marvel series that I've thoroughly enjoyed That's- with WandaVision and Falcon and the Soldier. Their first episodes fell a little bit flat for me, mm-hmm. but this was the first one where I was like, oh, I'm all in. Like, this is sick. So, all of your points are very interesting because okay. I think <laughs> it may just be a little wibbly wobbly timey wimey as an inverse because I think, and I am so on board for whatever this show is going to become. I feel like yeah, I'm yeah. on the opposite side of that where okay. this, barring Hawkeye, because we're not going to talk about it. Well, you know, I'm excited yeah. for Hawkeye. We don't need to talk about yeah, yeah. that. Of course. Um, yeah, yeah. This was probably my most excited because I, I love Loki as a character. Um, yeah, yeah. Funnily, and, and it totally makes sense in a cinematic standpoint, the, the amount of times he dies gets boring. But in the comics, yeah. Loki gets revived every second episode. Or of course. Issue. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's like, I expect that from him. So yeah, I, I totally. never really had a problem with that. Um, for me, I kind of felt like this episode didn't set up anything yet, but okay. I could feel the world forming around it. And I, and I could yeah, feel yeah. the mystery yeah. that could come. Um, I yeah. think it ended like maybe half an hour before it should have and had about half an hour it didn't need to. Uh, pacing wise, I don't know. I, I, I got bored quite quickly by it, but yeah. I totally agree on Tom Hiddleston, incredible performance. Oh, and Wilson, like I, he needs to oh. never leave the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He just, that he man j- can do no wrong. He just fits in perfectly. There was like <laughs> some behind the scenes things that I watched uh, today. And I realized mm. that I don't think I've ever seen Owen Wilson outside of a movie. So that he, he, yeah. he's like this ethereal being that only exists yeah. as a, as a in character movies. fictionally. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was, it was quite weird seeing, and he seemed lovely. Uh, and uh, I don't actually know where I'm going with this train of thought other than, I think we need to talk about spoilers. So if you haven't yeah. seen the, the show, now is the time to leave because we need to dive headfirst because the show definitely did. Um, yeah. Like beyond the the end game return, uh, I just need to like get straight to the point that yeah. they said the words multiverse and madness within the same sentence. <laughs> Like it was so <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Who was in the writing room that went, you know what's gonna piss them off? <laughs> like, what a dick move. And the thing is, I need to I need yeah. to bring up because I, I wrote down the exact quotes. Because there was so much substance. So this is obviously when Loki enters the TVA uh, mm-hmm. and sees like the breakdown of what's happened. Because they mentioned yeah. like there was a war of multiverses fighting, and that yeah. is Secret Wars. Well, uh, what became Secret Wars in the comics, which is basically when all the multiverse gets too big, Marvel did their big reboot and brought all yeah. the universes into one. And that has been what people have assumed will become the next Endgame event. So if they're talking about it here, this one episode is set up <laughs> the next 10 yeah, years totally. of Marvel. <laughs> 100%. And I thought that that was like... So interesting to see in terms of 
the like animation that they used. Mm. Um, I kind of hope that the What If series is similar to that in terms of the style because I didn't mind it. I thought it was pretty cool. But just to go back a little bit, um, back when they were in like the end game portion mm. and showing that little bit where like they handcuff Loki and everything, the scene where it cuts to him impersonating Captain America, mm. um, I love that again because <laughs> it was an alternate take from what Good. we had seen in Endgame. So, it was just a small thing that I appreciated yep. seeing that there was like a different version out there and they did it mm -hmm. maybe for the show or maybe it was just not used from Endgame. Mm. But I thought it was pretty sick. There was um, one shot in there that failed, which is the close up of Loki in the elevator where it's like, okay, you stuck Tom on a green screen and just kind yeah, of you fudge that totally. shot in there. Well, because I even thought that with, like, the shot of Cap, because it was mm. very close up, the background was very blurred. Yeah. And there wasn't any other characters in that space, and I was like- It was weird, right? It? <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, the whole, like, animation about, like, the multiverse thing, mm. I was sitting there, like, sitting there, like, the angels were singing down going- because <laughs> I just it was the last thing I was expecting from this show totally just <laughs> opening with that um, and uh, within that as well was the reference to Nexus points which of course yep. Scarlet Witch is a Nexus being so that's something yep. so that whole section just feels like okay all of this is important already mm. uh, and we're leading yep. to some interesting things I just didn't expect that within I think the first 10 minutes of the episode like it was yeah. so quick to it um, yeah yeah but speaking of that opening, yeah, seeing Endgame again was interesting. I feel like it uh, that extra take was nice, but it almost felt weird to start the show with the movie because okay. it was like it almost set a tone that the show could never match because they're obviously using different tech to film the show. So the yeah. jarring moments, the reason that shot of Loki looking different in the elevator was so jarring is it's obviously shot on different lenses and different stuff. Yeah, so totally. I, for me, I would have preferred if they just started with that bit of him falling out of the sky. I, like that was such a good cold open. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the thing that I find just time and again in this episode was just, they just kept showing me things that I didn't need to see. And yeah. Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision did such a great job of being like, we're here. Watch this show. Like, yeah. the things that happened before don't really matter. Like, these characters yeah, exist yeah, yeah. in this contained environment. Yeah. I guess it's a time travel show, but I just was excited for this because it was a Loki that didn't need history. It was a Loki that had had yeah. two movies and that's it. Whereas this yeah. whole episode was basically about kind of getting him emotionally back to where he was already. And I was like, that's mm -hmm. what I really didn't want. Um, and so, like, that really disappointed me because... I was kind of down for like a cheeky Loki that was a little bit mischievous, but they've kind yeah. of, they're showing these the elements of the other films. <laughs> was yeah, a bit of a, a letdown for me. No, that's fair, and like definitely the one thing that stood out to me very quickly was that like you know Loki is a character who comes with a great like on screen mm. presence, um, and he's like always got a threat to say to someone here and there. And it was funny that his threats here really <laughs> meant nothing because he wasn't in control. Yep. But I feel like in doing that and a lot of the episode, it kind of dumbed him down to a level where, I, like, there, like, most of the time I was like, well, that was a bit dumb, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, just, just because of the fact that he was so, like, powerless and helpless yep. throughout this whole episode, couldn't really do much at all. Mm -hmm. Um and just like there was like that one shot of him nude, I was like, <laughs> yeah. okay, cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was just like a lot of things where I was like, it's Loki, but not the Loki that we've experienced in like mm. the films. Yeah, and it was unfortunate because I had seen a lot of people mentioning that, and I, this Tom Hiddleston's amazing. I'm not yeah. digging at anything. No, of course. I'd seen yeah. a lot of people mention that this first episode was exciting because it was seeing him as the Loki that we saw in Avengers. And I don't think he's mm. ever that. Like, the Loki from Avengers is a villain. No. Like, he is maniacal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this doesn't feel like a Loki we've ever seen before. Like, it's yeah. it's such a obscure version of the character, which would have been fine, but it now feels like maybe they're careening him back to be the one we've had. I don't really want to get into it. We don't know what he's like post this episode, of course, so yeah. I don't want to get too deep into that. Um, but what we did get pretty deep into was the existence of the TVA and, like, 
the wonderful aesthetic of like this 1950s uh like cigarette smoked yeah. <laughs> environment and it's so fun it's like it's such a yeah. I'm excited to be in this world for a little while <clears throat> yeah um, I um like my only gripe with it was I just felt like visually it could have been a, a bit like brighter. Yes. Um I got a bit bored of like the whole palette of colors very quickly. Mm-hmm. Um but like when like they're walking around going through like, different hallways and into different rooms and when there's that one shot um where Loki's like I thought you couldn't use magic here mm-hmm. and so like, that big overshot of like their whole like sort of like city where they we, live we, and it's like there's no magic like yeah, that was pretty cool was, which admittedly it did re- weirdly remind me of the B movie like it looked like <laughs> their little civilization <laughs> very good um, very very good but yeah that looks super cool and like again these shows are so impressive visually in terms of mm. like the CGI and stuff like yeah yep. w- wonderful I do agree that I think the fact that we were stuck in this one place for the whole episode yep. was a little a little bit bland and obviously yeah. we're time traveling we're going to be like doing going a lot of different places of from yeah, this yeah. point on but yeah it was a little bit drab for for some of it but um uh yeah cool cool world interesting lore like i it's it's a part of marvel yeah. which i haven't really looked into and I, I i'm sad but a little bit happy with the way they kind of uh swaved over that's not a word the idea of the broken timeline that loki left behind because it was the yeah. thing that i feel like a lot of people were wondering it's like well mm. you've broken that timeline now you loki's doing something different even if steve yeah. returns that stone that yeah. timeline's fractured right and i mean yeah it seems like whatever the other loki is doing the yeah. perfect the, the sacred timeline is still fracturing but Uh, I like that they were like, oh, we've got these little devices that kind of heal over that wound. So that moment that we saw in Endgame is not canon to that timeline anymore. Like they fixed that, that, that fixed point in time, which was cool. I think it's a, it's an interesting thing and it's uh, something that they're never going to explain, but it's fine. (laughs) It's a, it's an easy get around. There was um like there was a cool moment where like when they were explaining how like the timeline works and how mm. if you like you know alter it in any way things can happen blah blah blah. My first thought was well, they took all the Infinity Stones out of a timeline. Mm. Surely that would have done something. Totally. But I was like, I guess they're okay with it. And then for the rest of the episode, I was like, no, like I need an answer. But then we did get an answer. We and I was like, well, that was meant to happen. Yeah. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> it's it's such a, fine. It's such a Doctor Who. There were so many points in this yeah. where I'm like, it's such a yeah time travel Doctor Who thing where it's like, uh, actually, in terms of our rules, <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, I was waiting for a, a, a big box to show up <laughs> yeah. and the doors to swing open. Um, but like in terms of the time travel stuff i was really really like just like captivated by it and the fact that like these little like doorways would open up Mm. whenever they would like go somewhere and the fact that they could travel to any point in time as well like you see them i think one of the time stamps is like 1854 and they're in a chapel like i just thought that was so cool that they had like the access to any point in time Mm. and then it, with that, saying that, like, time moves differently when you're in the TSA mm. and how they know everyone's timelines from birth to death. Yep. And then you sort of experience that with Loki where he does <laughs> go through his whole timeline to the point of his death mm. and kind of sees that play out. And mm. I'm really interested to see how that does affect him throughout the series. I feel like that might have a bit of an impact. Totally. I, I hope it does. I hope it, it pushes him to be a different character. It's. Yep. I almost hope that it's similar to what I hoped from WandaVision. I hope he ends up as a villain somehow. Like, it'd be yeah, pretty totally. fun. Like he just if- gets angrier and meaner totally. than what he already was. Well, the thing that I, I wonder if this show is already setting up, the way that mm. they're able to just kill these people, and I love that as well, the idea that they're now removed from time and they've fixed that timeline. They don't mean yeah. anything to time. It's like your, your life yeah. is meaningless now because yeah. we've fixed it. We've put a new version of you in that timeline. So we can just yeah. kill you if you're not helpful or useful to yeah. Yeah, totally. I think because that was that was an aspect of the episode where I found it a bit like not like it didn't put a downer on things, but yeah. I was like, oh, that's a bit like full on, isn't it's, it? Because like they were ready to just like evaporate him until mm-hmm. like a car from Disney showed up and hey, he's like, "Kachow, yeah. you can help us." <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, and that as well, I'm very intrigued mm. as to how he's going to be able to help them because mm-hmm. I think, uh, what's his name? Owen Wilson? Yeah, yeah, but like the character. Uh, Mobius. Mobius, that's it. I was thinking Morbius. I'm like, it's yeah, not Morbius, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's Mobius. <laughs> um, but yeah, when Mobius is like, you can help us in like tracking down a version of you, I was mm. like- it's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> and it's. I, I was hoping they'd lean into it a bit more. I feel like his whole thing, it would be fun if they really... He almost becomes the Coulson to Captain America. He's he's that to Loki where he's like, yeah, I know about your whole life. Sure. I've, I've studied you for ages. And it's for like sure. this fun, like, he's almost a fan of Loki. Like, yeah. this episode, he was kind of a little bit like, oh, like, this is the best bit and stuff. It would be fun if they lean harder into that. And it's like, no, yeah. he legit is a fanboy for Loki. Yeah. Um, like, it'd be sick because there's a moment where, like, one of the really cool moments for me was when Loki does get free mm. um, and he goes uh, and apprehends the Tesseract. And then when he does that, there's just all these <laughs> infinity <laughs> stones in this drawer. And the guy's like- Oh, we have tons of those. Like, we use them as, like, a paperweight. Yeah. And I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> but, so, it'd be cool if, like, if Mobius has items that related to Loki throughout his life and he's like, oh, this was when you were a baby. Hmm. It's your, like, cradle. Yeah, or yeah. I've got, like, this sword that you used to kill this guy in this year. Yeah. Like, can you sign it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if, if you really- And just another items. thing as well, like, speaking of, like, signing things, mm. when Loki first gets admitted to the TSA and the guy's like, sign here, he signs the paper and it hit me. I was like, would Loki have ever had to sign anything before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Like, because on Asgard- They don't write. I don't think there's any contracts. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> or, like, that he would need to write up anyway. So, mm-hmm. I was like- I, It was point. just something to me that I was like, that's interesting. But, and yeah. that whole bit was wonderful, where it's like, every time he spoke, the new piece of paper would fall, <laughs> come out of the printer. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's that's pretty gold. Very well timed, uh, um, yeah. We're streaming this out on Twitch right now, and a comment that Dolphin Pants has put in the chat is about the fact that in this, they reference Coulson and that he has died- uh, and Dolvin is wondering whether that means that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't canon anymore. I think the important thing to remember is that for this Loki, he just killed Coulson. So, to him, yeah. Coulson is dead. Um, so, yeah. it's like there's a nice little grey area there where it's like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. where he comes back and all of that can still exist because that happens after this Loki. This Loki doesn't exist in a world where all that had already mm. happened. So, I, I don't mm. think it's- it hasn't quelled the, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Not that, it, that that's ever coming back. And look, I might, I might be wrong. They might be popping up in this very show, but we'll just, yeah. <laughs> we'll just say it for now. It just shields is uh, it's swept under the rug. Um, but uh, something that uh, isn't swept under the rug is the devil, because uh, we might as well bring it up in here. Yeah. We went to the church, uh, which was speaking about in like 1854, um, where someone had been and given a little girl a thing of bubble gum. Uh, and of course, she points to the window and it's like, this is the person that was here, and it's yeah. the devil. Um, it's not Mephisto. It's a clever <laughs> reference to the fact that someone's evil. But it's dumb because why... Unless this girl... I mean, I guess maybe this girl is very religious, and, like, by saying who did this, she's, like, the embodiment of the devil. But this child's yeah, also, totally. like, five. So I don't yeah. think they think that... Uh, wildly um yeah yeah it's definitely a moment where i'm kind of like <laughs> i would almost want this to be what happened which is one division came out there was loki reshoots last month one division came out uh all the mephisto stuff happened then kevin feige went to the loki team and was like i know we're doing reshoots at the moment uh and we're reshooting like important scenes but what i want to reshoot is that little scene where mobius talks to a little girl and they're like why we shot it so well like what's What's the issue? And he's like, oh, I just want to change the window. I'm like, why would you want to change the window? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, and just inserted a, a <laughs> devil just to piss a lot of people off. Yeah, <laughs> totally. 100%. Like, it was definitely, like, it's so, like, funny because like, I was watching this whole episode and I was just looking for hints to other shows. Yeah. Like, because I just felt like if there's going to be hints or, like, callbacks to anything, it's going to be in this show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, they've said that 
like Kevin Feige said that the show is going to have huge ramifications on the MCU so that's very cool. exciting so there should that's be some exciting, some big yeah. things one little flashback which was fun was Loki and I'm glad they just went like verbatim on who he was uh, which is the thing where he's on the plane and he steals the money and he gets uh, teleported I love that that was such a I hope there's more little little vignette yeah. sequences like that throughout it um I can't remember the name of the guy, but everyone did theorize that that was kind of what they were playing on, and it turns out that he 100% was that uh, historical person, and it was all because he lost a bet to, to Thor and just needed some I money. I love that. <laughs> I love that. DB Cooper. Unreal. Thank you, BMAC. Like, because that is a thing where it's like, I want to know what these two got up to in, like, their prime. Mm -hmm. Like, what were they doing in their, like, late 20s, yep. early 30s, like- yep. Obviously, just going around stealing a bunch of money off planes, pretty totally. much. <laughs> I remember there was something that Taika said he wanted to do in Ragnarok, which was, like, mm. I think Thor was a surfer teenager and Loki was going to be, like, a goth emo kid. And there was going to be a flashback of that. Um, I hope Give that-, that in <laughs> Thor. <laughs> totally. Chuck that into Love and Thunder, because, yeah. I, I, yeah. And, like, I, and I know he won't turn up, but hearing Hemsworth's voice over the Marvel logo at the start, screaming Loki, yeah. a part of me is like- Oh, please let him turn up somewhere in here. Like, if I get a Thor cameo in this show, I, I think oh. I would cry. A hundred percent. I'll tell you what was really funny. When, like, the the shot of Loki hopping out of the plane and, like, the Bifrost coming mm. down, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if, if, like, he's doing this because he's lost a bet, wouldn't it be funny if you just faintly hear, like, Thor laughing mm. through, like, the Bifrost? Because totally. he's like, this is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the edge of the I thought we might get... Like, the other side. I was like, are we going to see Asgard? Are we going to see Idris? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine him, like, returning to Asgard and Thor being like, oh, brother, that was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. I just, yeah. I, I think that was the interesting thing. I feel like this show, I guess they've all kind of done it. They set such a low bar. Like, this, exci this episode was exciting, yeah. but there wasn't, like an action sequence to blow your mind or like a yeah, time no. travel moment that you're like, oh, this show is going to be amazing. They really were just like, here's the basic principles of how everything's going to work. We'll, we'll wow you next week. Like, we're not going to do anything yeah. crazy in this episode. Yeah. Um, I guess the one big crazy thing, which I hope isn't a serious long thing because the answer is kind of very obvious uh, in terms of the like renegade variant Loki that's messing with the timelines. They kind of allude to it early on, and when they're like, someone's been messing with stuff, you're like, well, it's Loki. Don't yeah. don't, don't hold this over. Like, this isn't a reveal, guys. And I'm glad that, like, halfway through the episode, they're like, hey, there's a bad Loki doing some bad shit. Yeah. We need your help. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and then, yeah, they, they have a little... And we'll, we'll get back to other stuff. I want to get on with this thing. Yeah, yeah They please. show the variant Loki doing some bad stuff, and, like... There's a very small window of people that it could be. It's probably mm. going to be the female Loki. And I'll tell you why. And I was legitimately thinking about this. This is absolutely where my brain went. When they show the thing of her in the cloak, my brain went to yeah. when they reveal Jodie Whittaker as the doctor. And I remember seeing right. the frame of her. And I was like, seems like a female actress. Yeah. And so when I saw that, that same thought hit my mind. And I'm like, well, it's. It seems like it might be the female Loki. That's um, cool. So that's my assumption. Because uh, wasn't there also a shot in the trailer where you were like, I'm pretty sure it's a female Loki? The shot that everyone seems to be going over that's like Black Widow. I'm pretty sure that's yeah. female Loki. Um, and that's another reason why I think this may get, if not next week, maybe the episode three, fairly mm -hmm. quickly resolved because it feels like it's, it's just too, like the fact they've already gone, it's a Loki is already like half of the reveal. So I don't think yeah. they'll want to hold on to that real reveal for much longer. Um, yeah. And also, I just didn't think it was a big, a good cliffhanger because it's, it's a cliffhanger that like we got in uh, Superman and Lois where it's like, you, it's not tense. You've just cut this short and it's annoying. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you had, you, yeah. you could have just told me. <laughs> yeah. You could have um. just, Pull the hood down and be yeah. like, it's me. Or like just a bit of a nose or something. Yeah, um, just like some hair. Anything. But yeah, I hope that's not the series long arc because if it is, it's yeah, not cool. a very good one. Yeah. But like in saying that, like for me personally, like I kind of like, even though there was that thing about, okay, there's like a rogue version of you going around. Mm. I kind of got the vibe that there was still more to this series than that. Mm, and like, totally. like we did with like, you know, like with the other series, it was kind of like I got to the end of this and I was like, 
what is this about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, what else is there? <laughs> well, that's well, that's yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping there is more because the the, the two elements is like the timeline splintering, and it's because of this Loki. But yeah, hopefully yeah. there's there's other Lokis, and that yeah. might be the whole bit. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm intrigued to know where it goes. Uh, for me, yeah, I think it's actually my least favorite of the openers that we've had so okay. far. Um, I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier was really strong and character driven, um, whereas this was a little bit, it's a little bit flimsy and a little bit like needing to catch us up in a way right. that I'm like, well, why even do the Marvel Legends? montage things that you put on yeah, Disney Plus totally. if you're going to yeah. cram this all into this episode. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, I guess the whole him watching his uh, Frigga die and all of that does end with the emotional moment of him realising a little yeah. bit about himself. But, f- but again, it's that thing of, that you mentioned where it's like he felt a bit dumb. Uh, like his thing of being like, I kill for this reason and all that. Yeah. It just felt like a real hard left turn and like a little bit out of yeah. character for me. Yeah. But um. Again, we, he might change a little bit in the future. But. Yeah. No, yeah, like, like, because like I said at the beginning, I did, like, really enjoy this episode. But, yeah, like, I do agree that there were elements where, and, like, moments as well, where it did just drag a little bit. I did get a bit bored. Like, it was just things that if thing like, if certain scenes were a few seconds shorter, mm. like, just keep it a bit tighter in time frame, it would have probably gone a lot better. Because, totally. um, yeah, there were things where, like, like for instance, when um, they first go into like the, I guess would you call it their version of an interrogation room? Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When they first go into there and like he's showing Loki like all the footage from like the like of like the Avengers and all that sort of stuff, I was like, there's not really anything being added here. Mm. Like just you know maybe skip forward a bit. Like because totally. I was expecting that to be like okay you've screwed up here here and here. Mm. Let's watch a few seconds of that. Yeah. Like, but it was more like- This is the whole the point of the scene. Yeah. <laughs> is just- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing you all stuff. And I was stuff. like, guys, I know who Iron Man is. <laughs> yeah. I've spent, I've spent 12 years now knowing about him. <laughs> totally. Um, and like the main thing I just thought was like, God, the animators that had to uh, mask around like Hawkeye's oh, bow. Oh, I know, and, like, right? like all these little framey elements. I'm like, God, I totally. just- Totally. It made me ill just watching it because I'm like- when they did, like, the one shot of, like, the skyline of the city, oh like, like, the tower. And, yeah. yeah, them having a mask through all those little skyscrapers. Oh. And- <laughs> it, it, it terrified me. Um, but uh, I guess they didn't have to animate Loki's lo- knives appearing because he couldn't do that in this episode. So, yeah. I guess that's maybe where they saved on the budget. Um, Definitely but, um, saved there. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... Uh, I'm. I'm Keen to see what is next week. I agree. Yeah. I, make, I, I don't entirely know what the show is. I hope it's not what I think it is. And um, okay. uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I. It was a weird episode. You know what's really weird, Sam? I don't think I'd ever say this. I think Superman and Lois has set a really high precedent for TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, like, that's made me so happy. <laughs> halfway through it, I was like... Because uh, I haven't watched the latest episode. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be watching Superman and Lois right now. But here I am watching Loki, which is not what I thought I would ever say. <laughs> totally. Well, that's why, like, I got home this afternoon, watched Loki, and then I uh, got Superman and Lois, and I was like, I'll save that for later. Yep. End the night on a high. You know? Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I could do that. Um, mm. And if you're listening and wondering if we're going to talk about that again, there'll be a podcast when the show finishes. For sure. For sure. Um, for sure. Have you got any other thoughts on this first episode of Loki? No, not really. I mean, look, overall, I think, like, they did pretty well with what they've been given Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, like, material and stuff. Like, again, probably the most exciting thing in this for me was learning about, like, the multiverse and, like, just, like, the time travel elements that were involved in this. Um, Just because, like, anything with time travel, like, if they do it in a way that's easy enough to understand, I'm like, cool. Totally. Endgame didn't do that. No. <laughs> I'm still confused. Totally. Um, well, Endgame tried to do the thing where it's like, nothing matters. But now I'm like, I'm very confused. And whereas this well, is like, yeah, here's totally. the simple yeah, yeah. rules. And like, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, totally. what I was kind of like, what I was kind of thinking was going to happen is that through this episode, as I were talking about the elements of time travel, it was going to fill in the blanks mm. of what happened in Endgame and be like, that's why this was okay and that's why this was able to happen and yep. all the timeline sort of stuff. Um, but look, yeah, overall, I think it was still pretty solid. Um, like, I think it'd be pretty cool, even though it's obvious, I think it'd be pretty cool if the hooded character 
was someone other than a version of Loki, mm. and they just assume it's Loki because maybe they're following the same patterns that Loki normally totally. would when he's causing chaos and mischief. Make um, it a bad Thor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> make it. Make it like his mother. Yeah. Oh, man. If it was Frigga, I would lose it. Oh, that would it's be amazing. like. Amazing. Yeah. That'd be sick. That would be sick. Uh, God damn it. There's a, few, there's a few comments <laughs> in Discord, which is Dolphin Pan, uh, uh, Twitch. Dolphin Pan says, it's Hella. B Max says, Jane. Jane would be weird. Hella, though. Wow. I wouldn't be against that. That would be pretty fun. Because I think there was a few, there was a few uh, chats throughout, like, the online blogs and Reddits and stuff, mm. um, where I think people were hoping slash thinking that this show was going to introduce Jane Foster again. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, like right. I just heard it, like like getting thrown around, um, that they were gonna bring her into this, and then this would then link to Thor four. Um, yeah, right. What a sentence. Thor four. Uh, but Thor four. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want that. Just save that for the movie. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I feel like uh, there was a comment that that Hiddleston said that he hasn't as far as he's aware that he's not in yeah. Thor Love and Thunder so yeah, yeah probably we're probably done with which is surprising because I was on the train that he would definitely be in yeah. Thor Love and Thunder but I think yeah this show if anything has, has been like yeah I think we're done with the brothers like they don't even yeah. bring up Thor in this whole show really well totally and like the thing <laughs> it's really funny but when Loki was looking at like his timeline mm-hmm. and he saw himself die mm. when the film like actually cut and was just like circling because it was over. Yeah, I sat there and was like, "Thank God," because it meant that like that death <laughs> yeah. was legit. Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, that's cool." So, <laughs> yeah. in terms of like the timeline of like the mainstream MCU media in terms of movies, mm. I would say it's pretty safe to say that he might not turn back up unless it's in a flashback. Totally. Um. So yeah, it was it was a it's so dumb and probably slack, <laughs> but it was a thing where I was just like, He's dead. "Thank you, God." <laughs> yes, well, the, the friggin' neck snap that they added. There's like a shot of him watching it, and you just hear it go, and I'm like, I don't remember yeah. that in the movie. That was like way more intense. Yeah, yeah, no, like because like in the movie I do remember like the faint sound, but this yeah. was like amped up to eleven. Totally, but his his like acting during that like. I felt uncomfortable watching him watch himself die. Mm. Like, I thought that was great acting from him. For sure. But, uh, yeah. I mean, he's always great. But just make him more sassy and mischievous. Yeah. I want him to be a- here. And I know it's the time traveler, so it's hard to do it. And I guess maybe that's yeah. the point. I want him to be a foot ahead of people. And in this, it just felt like he was always two steps behind. Um, yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see where this show goes. Yeah. Uh, and we'll, we'll we'll let you know what we think. We'll always do that. Um, and if you want to of hear course. those thoughts, you can jump on over to youtube.com slash each to their own where the podcasts are uploaded visually. Um, but if you're already here and you want to listen to it audibly, you can go anywhere. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music. It's on Google Plays. It's on all the freaking things you want. So uh, give us a search, uh, Eto's Catch Up, and we'll probably be there. Uh, and where where are you, Sam? Uh, they can find me uh, on Instagram on the handle that is here. That's my personal uh, one. But you can also find me uh, at Sam's Studio AU. Uh, I do a bunch of like uh, pop culture related art. <coughs> Just post the Loki one. So go and ha- have a look at that. And uh, on the 19th and 20th uh, of June, if you watch this in time, uh, I will be at Sydney Supernova uh at the Red Unit Inc. booth, uh, it will be my mate Rui, uh, him and me uh, combining uh, a booth with all of our art. So come by, say hello, uh, have a look at some art. We can maybe talk Loki, maybe talk Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision, maybe something DC, if that's your thing. Superman um, Lois. <laughs> Superman Lois, but yeah, Will might also be there as well. Might so be there. yeah, it'll be a great time. But yeah, so you can find me there on all those handles and at Supernova next weekend if you're around. Absolutely. Make sure you head on there if you're in Sydney. If you're in any other state, just think, just, you know, find out about where you're all at in terms of the, the big global thing that's happening and yeah. then travel. Just don't, 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 yeah. don't just come here and then bring your thing. And don't like travel when you're like coughing. Yes. You know, just don't like, get, oh my God, don't get on a plane if you've got a sniffle. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, but what you can do is just stop listening to this podcast because I think yeah. we're out. I've been Will. And I've been Sam. 
Farewell. Da 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 da.